So today's episode here on BizJet TV is all about European Union about to ban private jets. Yes, this is the news of the day. Uh, very interesting. So we're going to delve into this and I'm going to tell you what I think it's a bad idea and what this is fueled by and what the solution is. I'm going to give you a few examples uh, and that. So we're going to talk about a bit of business entrepreneurship and that and how the private jet plays a key role. So if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, this channel is all about private aviation. Lots of content on here, over 400 plus videos. We're heading towards the 500 mark. We'll have a big celebration when we hit that, that, that number. Um, uh, my name is Fabrizio Poli. I'm your aviation advisor. I'm here with you on BizJet TV to offer you this great content. And uh, so let's get into today's episode and let's find out what's happening in Europe with private jets. So the flight shaming movement calmed down a little bit with the whole COVID lockdowns because obviously people weren't traveling a lot. And so this is what, um, uh, so it calmed down, but now it's starting to resurface. Um, and this is um, uh, the forefront of all this is France. And in particular, the France transport minister, Clément uh, 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 Bion, he has called for restrictions on the use of business jets. In a recent interview with French newspaper Le Parisien, he said, we have to act to regulate flights on private jets. They can't be a means of individual travel for comfort at a time when the president's campaign requires everyone to make an effort. Rather than just focusing on France, uh, Bion said he will be pushing for actions to curb business jet use on the European level at a meeting of EU transport ministers, ministers in October. According to Bion, potential measures could include higher taxes on business aircraft operations or even bans for flights to destinations that are sufficiently served by trains. And uh, the tax they're thinking of putting on is €3,000 per passenger, and uh, but they could actually ban flights in certain locations or ban flights altogether. So this is kind of what they're doing, and they're trying to take it from France to the whole European uh, Union level. Now, um, I don't think this is a good idea, but of course I'm going to say that because this is my channel, Bidget TV, or all about private aviation. But I just want to take you through the logic here. Okay, so let's just look at a few examples, and let's just think about this logically, about what knock-on effect this could have on the economy. Well, first of all, the economy in Europe has not been good for the last 20 years. Uh, the European Union was, or econo European Economic Community, as it was initially called, uh, was conceived as a, an organization, uh, or a, a conglomerate of countries, that would have a free trade amongst each other. That's how it started. And then it morphed into making it become one country, hence the introduction of the euro, um, the EU law and all this thing. So what they're doing is they're trying to take these 28, 30 countries and make them into one country. Now, this is a very, very difficult thing to do. Bear in mind that, you know, there's been more wars in the history of this planet fought in Europe than any other place on the planet. OK, and there are many different cultures in Europe. OK, we're talking like almost 30 countries in the EU where there's almost 30 different languages spoken. 30 different types of food served at the table at dinner time. Um, and so it's going to be very, very difficult to make all these countries think in the same way because they don't think in the same way. So what they've done is they've over-regulated. And of course, all this over-regulation has caused the economy to flatten completely over the last 20 years, flatten or, or even go down. Lots of entrepreneurs have left Europe and moved to places like the United States, which are more business friendly. Um, and what they don't understand is that who uses the private jet? Now, yes, there's been a lot of talk about celebrities misusing private jets. And I even did a video about that here on BizJet TV. I was also interviewed uh, in Newsweek. You can check the video here. And on that video, there's the link to the article uh, in Newsweek, which featured myself asking me my take on this celebrity using their private jet. Um, now, there are people misusing private jets, but most of the time, private jets are used by business people, in particular, entrepreneurs. Now, what does an entrepreneur do? An entrepreneur usually has an idea, and that idea is usually the solution to a problem. So they create a product or a service that goes and solves a problem. And while they do that, they create jobs. And these jobs, in, you know, these people that are employed make money and they spend money. So let's take a really, really simple example. Let's say we live in a village and in this village, there is just one silver coin. And I'm the baker, okay? And I have this coin and I need to go and buy a pair of shoes. So I go to the shoe store and I buy a pair of shoes in exchange for the silver coin. Now, the guy that owns the shoe store needs to go to the supermarket to buy some food for his family. So he goes to the supermarket and gives the silver coin to the supermarket owner in exchange for some food. The supermarket owner needs to go and 
buy, I don't know, a car, for example. They go to the car dealership, they give them the coin in exchange for the car. Now, this is just a very simplistic way of explaining it, but as long as that coin keeps circulating, everybody will prosper because everybody will have what they need. So the key is to make that coin keep circulating. But as soon as you start putting restrictions and taxes and things like that, that will cause people to hold on to the coin more and say, you know what? I'm actually not going to go and buy a new pair of shoes. I'll just hang on to the ones I have. And because I need to keep this coin, because with all this regulation and that, I'm a bit afraid of spending it. So as long as people are keeping the coins at home and they're not circulating the coins, the, the prosperity of the community is not going to happen because the baker's not going to sell as much bread. Um, the shoe guy's not going to sell as many shoes. And so we really need the coins or the money to circulate. And the people that make this thing happen the most are the entrepreneurs because the entrepreneurs are the ones that create the business, set up a warehouse, employ a load of people, pay them money. These people have families. They've got rent to pay. They've got cars payments to pay, electricity bills. They've got kids that go to school that need clothes and food and whatnot. And so I'm the entrepreneur. I set up a factory. I employ 100 people. They get paid. They go out. They spend money in the community. And, you know, and this basically benefits everybody. And this is really, really key. As soon as you start to tax, as soon as you start to put restrictions on things, in particular on the private jet. Now, the private jet is a business tool for the entrepreneur. And if you take the example of Sam Walton with Walmart, check on the video above that I did a few years ago about this. Um, Sam Walton, in his biography, he tells the story of how he used airplanes to build his business. And today, Walmart almost have, I think it's about 30 aircraft. And they fly their executives around all the time to visit the various locations around the world where they have stores, but also to scout for new locations and go and do deals for new locations. Now, every time Walmart op opens a new supermarket, and they have done here just recently in the town where I live in England, they opened a new, a new supermarket. And as a result, they've employed a number of people. They've probably employed, I would say, probably about close to 150 people. These are 150 people that now have a job. 150 people that are making money from uh, from Walmart paying them that are going out and spending this money because they live here. So, you know, the, the community benefit. But the, the reason why Walmart can open a store here, one of the keys is the, pri the usage of private jets. And they use the private jet in a very smart way. So as soon as you start taxing the use of private jets or banning the use of private jet, what's the entrepreneur going to do? In today's world where we're really connected, and we can easily call somebody on the other side of the world with WhatsApp. And guess what? The call is free. We can do a video call with someone on the other side of the world via WhatsApp or Zoom or whatever system you use. And you can find out about that location, about the opportunity out there. And guess what? These people are going to shut shop and move to a, into an environment which is more business friendly, where they're going to be allowed to use their private jet as a business tool, where they're going to be allowed to expand without too much regulation. And this is really, really important. And here in Europe, they don't understand this. They just don't get it. They think that this is a good thing to do because of the environment. When, you know, private jets only make up 4% of the pollution caused by the aviation industry, only 4% are caused by private jets. So it's minimal. But if we look at, you know, what the private jet does, you know, taking these entrepreneurs around, creating business, creating new companies, creating new products, employing more people, making prosperity happen in different places. This is really, really key. And this is something that they don't get here in Europe. While they do in the United States, and this is why in the United States, aviation has been, particularly private aviation, has been um, very much promoted by, by the various governments. And the, um, there was a tax depreciation, which is ending. And I did do a video on that. You can click on that above. It's going to be ending the end of this year where you can do write off 100% of the depreciation of your jet. That's going to 80% from the 1st of January of 2023. And then it's going down even more and will fizzle out. Unfortunately, because the new government is anti-private jet, while the previous government were pro-private jet. You know, the private jet is a business tool in the arsenal of the entrepreneur. And it's really, really important. Uh, but, you know, a lot of these government people have never worked before. They've always worked in government. They went to university, got a master's degree in political science and then went to work in some local council, and worked their way up to becoming a senator or a minister or an MP or whatever you call it in your country. And they have no understanding of how business works. They have no understanding of entrepreneurship. And, you know, at the end of the day, if we can keep that silver coin circulating, we're going to have a prosperous community. 
and the private jet will help that coin circulate. But if you start banning the use of private jets, that's going to have an effect on business overall. It's, there are going to be less jobs, less money circulating, and you know it's just going to impoverish uh, Europe even more. And this is probably, not probably, definitely what's going to happen. So, you know, the private jet is a business. Well, I hope I explained it well. If you have any more questions, you can contact me directly or you can comment below. Let's get the conversation going. And I'd like to hear what you think about this whole thing of taxing private jets or banning private jets and what your take is on all this. Um, and let's just get the conversation flowing. And I encourage you to go and have a look at this interview I did with Charlie Mullins, a British entrepreneur. He was a plumber turned entrepreneur, built a very successful plumbing business and sold it just recently for a ton of money. So um, I won't tell you more than that. Just go and have a look at this video. Very interesting. He flies private, of course, and the private and he tells you how the private jet has helped him and helps is helping him do a number of business deals. And um, that's all for the Fabrizio Party on BizJet TV. And I'll see you in the next one. And remember, subscribe. Bye.